Good morning and welcome to Herb Oracle Podcast, botanical divination with herbs, essences, flowers, and trees with your host, Herbal Marie. Let's start the day off pulling some oracle cards and getting a few messages. We can shoot the shiitake in a spiritual way-ish. And if you follow me on Instagram, I'll post a pic of the cards at Herb Oracle. Thanks so much for joining me. Here we go. All right. Welcome to Friday. We made it. TGIF. Yeah. And welcome to the Friday live stream on Instagram. So today we're going to be hanging out. We're going to pull a few messages. Um just kind of in general, just kind of in thanks for sure. We're gonna pull a few cards from the Soul Flower. Good morning. And then for everybody who hangs out today, oh yeah, I'm just getting started right away. We're just not even gonna waste any time. Everyone gets a flower essence today from the power of flowers. And it's a really cool deck from Lisa Isha Lerner, and she uses archetypes. And then each type in each uh, flower has a blessing. So it's really great. Good morning. How are you? Have you enjoyed your week? Can you believe that it's gone already? Like how did how did the week go for everybody? I want to hear in the chat. Um, I want to I want to hear how it went. Um, I'll tell you how it went for me. One, I absolutely loved working, thinking, sitting with marshmallow. The herb of the week was marshmallow. Um, it really just encouraged me to slow down. Marshmallow encouraged me to slow down, take care of myself, um, be easy about things. Even if like a few things came up that uh, I wasn't quite sure about in my life, I knew that like with love and care and compassion and just like a smoothing of the rough patches. Oh, and that's funny. I actually have getting a little patch of eczema on my, um, on my jaw see that and <laughs> that's interesting because marshmallow is like yes and you can use me for that as well so I have big plans for marshmallow I've been drinking it all week but I also was thinking about experimenting um, more with it with my hair and then of course my skin so <laughs> isn't that like the best thing about using herbs in your life when shit can go wrong and you're like yay I get to try it out. <laughs> so shout out to the rough patch on my face. Um, we gon' we gon' do something for that. So, anyways, how you guys doing? How you like my shirt? I like big buttons, and I cannot lie. We're gonna have fun today. So yeah, we are gonna pull a few from the Soul Flower deck by Lisa Estabrook, crowd pleaser, right here, and then everyone's gonna get their own um flower essence so i love flower essences they work with the emotional aspect <sighs> like they really do help you calm down like they're all like talking to me right now like calm down sadie we know you're excited to be live but you can actually calm down a bit um they help with i used them like 20 years ago for repetitive thinking like i just was like bup, 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 like yak 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 all the time in a negative way to myself and I stumbled upon flower essences I was like literally 20 years old and I just I love them I didn't question them I believe them I use them along with my intention even though I didn't even know that word at the time I didn't know what intention was I just knew that like I wanted to change and they really helped me a lot so the Bach flower remedies had like a little quiz in a packet and you went through and you answer questions and then like at the end of it it would give you the suggestions of which flower essences and that's what I did and it it started it didn't heal me completely but it certainly got me started in the right direction of my healing journey in my 22 year long healing journey so anyways um Sam says oh man it was hectic this week but I have some nettle coming to make tinctures and drink the herbal infusions. Thank you so much for saying that because I need to get back to my herbal infusions, my nourishing infusions. I've slacked. 
so bad. Now, granted, it I replaced everything with fresh celery juice, and I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining, but I like was looking up on the tops of my shelves over here, and um, it's gonna be February, like tomorrow. <laughs> like tomorrow is gonna be February, and before we know it, like spring will be here. The nettles will be growing fresh for me, like. It's always like a real kick in the pants if I did not drink all my dried herbs. So let's go, girl. Brew it up. Um, so I'm excited that you're going to make nettle tincture and drink the herbal infusion. Um, if you ever get your hands, well, you don't really want to get your hands on some fresh nettle. But if you ever get your hands on some fresh nettle, try to drink it fresh too. You'll love it. All I do is I pack the blender full of nettle, add water whirl it, swirl it, Vitamix the hell out of it, and then I strain it through the strainer and I drink that green juice and it is like pure power to my soul. It feels so good, it cleans your blood, it gets you moving. It's really, really great. So anyways, thanks for listening to the podcast this week. Just to recap, we did do marshmallow as our herb of the week. Um, I printed out the pretty affirmations, put them on, the fridge. If you haven't done that yet, anyone can download them for free on the Herbal Marie Patreon page. Um, but you might have to sign up for a Patreon account. I will warn you. Um, they might, I don't know if you can just click the PDF or you have to sign up for an account. Not sure, but um, anyone can print those out. And then as you walk by your fridge, it's there. It's in your face reminding you of beautiful things and that's what marshmallow did this week she just reminded us of beautiful things like I am nurtured how good does that feel say it I am nurtured <sighs> thank you <laughs> you know I feel the joy of being on the earth yeah if you if, and if you weren't she just reminded you to do that <laughs> so she did like a lot of great affirmations we'll break here um, halfway through this and listen to them while I chug some tea or something. Um, but yeah, Marshmallow had just amazing messages of compassion, being sweet, being easy about things, being the queen of pentacles in your own life, handling any type of adversity with calmness and soothing and comfort. And yeah, I, I'm trying to peek at my cards there. And she was also the two of water um, in the other deck. So I'd have to go back and listen to like Monday does, it went fast, but Monday really does seem like forever ago. <laughs> so anyways, that was Monday. On Tuesday, we did a tarot layout. That was really cool. Wednesday, we manifested more appreciation. So hopefully these energies, if you've been listening in, have followed you and um, kind of just encouraged you. They certainly have helped me. Thursday, we hung out with the tree guides awesome sauce, right? <laughs> um, and the trees, big thing yesterday. And marshmallow too. So this is like a reoccurring theme this week is to slow down. See, even take, even breathe. Even breathe in between your sentences, Sadie. Slow down. Uh, marshmallow said, I slow down and enjoy the sweetness of life. I slow down. I slow down and enjoy the sweetness of life. Now that's gonna be hard for me because I'm like, <laughs> like hurry up, hurry up. Um, but yeah, it's really great to slow down and just take a deep breath. And I mean, what the hell's your hurry? Well, hey, there's Danny. Maybe you gotta get to class. Maybe that's maybe that's your hurry. But if you don't have to be in a hurry, marshmallow root and the trees yesterday both were like slow down just close your eyes as long as you're not driving <sighs> take a deep breath and like actually let it all out <sighs> see that requires you to slow down so much that it made a really awkwardly weird long silence <laughs> Good morning. How are you doing, Danny? How was your week? Give us an update on the week. Um, anybody looking forward to anything this weekend? 
it's good to think about what you're going to be excited about. We, we did want to manifest more appreciation this week. Did you? Did you take time to appreciate? Last night I was tired, but you know what? I remembered that like appreciation is so important to me. So I took time to write down five things in my Grateful Goddess Appreciation Journal. And uh, yeah, I'm just really a walking appreciation. Do you ever hear that? Like people being a walking prayer, a walking meditation. Well, I think that you can be a walking appreciation. You know, you can really just allow yourself to get into that state where everything that you lay your eyes on, it might not be perfect. There's our card. Oh, it might not be perfect, but, um, oh, we're getting two cards. All right. Cause, cause one, one, the other one wanted to come out and say, it might not be perfect in your life or where you're at or what you're looking at, but guarantee you five bucks. I'll bet you five bucks. There's always something you can look around and be like, that's pretty. That's good. Smells smells lovely in here. Oh, at least it's warm and cozy, right? There's something to appreciate. Even if it's just like the color of the paint on the wall. If that's it, that's all you got, that's what you're going to appreciate right now. You're going to say I love that color and just think about how much you love that color until you find something else to love. So Sam says, yes, going yarn shopping while visiting Grand Rapids with the hubby. Oh my gosh, that sounds like a beautiful date weekend. I mean, Grand Rapids, the love of your life, yarn. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't really get any better than that. Um, Danny is doing great so far. Tired and it's been a long week, but we go in. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> and Kathy Kesterholt says the the appreciation podcast was great. It really was. Like, I don't mean to toot my own horn, but toot toot. Like, it just flew, flow, flooded out of me. Um, I even listened back to that one because I was like, that felt pretty all right, you know. Uh, so afterwards, I that night I listened to it and I was like, damn, girl. That was good. That was good. So, all right, the card that flipped out and then the other one that was like kind of like wiggling on the top of the deck, we're gonna look at that one too. Um, but the card of our Friday, TGIF, yeah, we made it, you guys. Another week down in the books. We got Velvet Leaf here with self-love. Self-love. So what I love about this is that um, it's exactly what Marshmallow wants you to do. It's exactly what the trees want you to do. It's exactly what everything in creation wants you to do is to love yourself. So this is Velvet Leaf. I'm not really familiar with this plant at all, but let's, let's hear it. It says, Velvet Leaf softly reminds you of your true nature. So Velvet Leaf softly, gently, like marshmallow, just really, let's be so easy on ourselves, on everyone else too. Give everyone a break, especially you. But so, uh, softly reminds you is what Velvet Leaf does of your true nature, pure love. You are love made from love in the name of love. You're created to love. You are love, you're love. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> All right, so no matter what earthly chaos, negativity, or suffering you have you have faced, Velvet Leaf wants you to remember that you are a magnificent, pure expression of divine love made manifest in human form. You are love itself. So... What does Velvet Leaf want you to do? Love yourself. Because you are loved. You are loved. So anyways, that is our TGIF, yeah. <laughs> and we thought we were going to get the party flower. No, nope, we get in the self-love party. Um, but really, let's think about this just for a second. Let's just swim in it for a little bit. What happens in your life when you love yourself? Everything gets better. You enjoy everything more. 
um, you release a lot of that self torturous habits that people can get into like self criticism, self judgment, um, hating on your body. Self love is the remedy for that. Right. So you are love itself. You are divine. So and spirit loves you. Whatever name you want to label it, God, source, all that is, angels, fairies, dragons, pixie dust, whatever. Like divine spirit, all that is energy loves you. So you you owe it to yourself to love yourself. <laughs> like you are perfect just the way you are. Uh, perfectly imperfect or imperfectly perfect. I don't know the right way to put those two words together, but you hear what I'm stepping in. Um, Self-love is the name of the game and it really, everything does get better then. All right, so this, the one that was wiggling on the top um, is Purple Poppy with Evolution. So right away, I love the idea of a spiritual revolution that would turn into evolution of people just loving themselves yeah f is for feeling myself absolutely love yourself that's a good f <laughs> that is a good f Danny. <laughs> but what an amazing turnaround we could not only do in our whole lives but the whole world could participate in this um, to get the self-love going Every single human being has the power to turn their whole world around with this simple act of self-love. And so, yeah, I just think it's perfect that it came in or that purple poppy wiggled its way in there with evolution. That's evolution, baby. Human beings start starting to act with more love, more compassion, more sensitivity to themselves and others. Not that everybody has to turn into a wuss. I'm just saying, love yourself. Love yourself and you will have more love to give everybody. Love yourself and you won't expect other people to do that for you. And it really will just add to the beauty of the world. All right, so let's read what Purple Poppy says. I tried to plant some of these last year. I didn't get any. <laughs> I did not get any of these to, to um, I, of course I just threw them in the dirt, but I think I have a few more seeds and maybe I will start them in something more contained so I can see if they work out. Cause I want some purple poppies, don't you? Um, purple poppy helps align your physical self with your soul purpose and your higher self. All right, I like where this is going. So it helps you align your physical self with your soul purpose and your higher self. For when your foundations are rocking and your entire being is evolving, Purple Poppy helps support deep levels of integration, connection, and rest. Wherever you land, she will help you adapt and find beauty in the process. Dang, she had a lot to say, didn't she? So I love how it works into our appreciation this week. Wherever you land, she will help you adapt and find the beauty in the process. She will help you appreciate. Um, I love that it's like, yeah, let's get our physical vessels aligned with what's really important. Our soul purpose, our, our um, what'd she say? Uh, our higher self, like what we really came here to do. Um, we condemn these bodies to no end. Terrible, right? You see other people doing it to celebrities or you know, if somebody posts a picture, they shame them, right? You gotta know those people are shaming themselves too. Um, who hasn't body shamed themselves or who hasn't not really liked their body? We, we're getting off track when we do that. We're getting off track of what these bodies were intended for, a vessel for our spirit, a way to communicate, a way to connect, a way to get around, like just from point A to point B. <laughs> so Purple Poppy helps align your physical self with your big buttons, <laughs> um, with your soul purpose and your higher self. 
because yeah, we do want to integrate. We do want to be solid. We want to have that good foundation. We want to be secure in our bodies um, because yeah, we are evolving within our own being. And then of course, as a collective, I also love that it is the weekend TGIF. Yeah. And purple poppy says integrate, connect and rest. So anyways, those are our flowers for today for our hangout. Um, so I would say let's do our affirmations real quick and then anyone who wants to hang out and get a card, bada bing, I got you covered. Hey beautiful lovelies, this week's affirmation minute is brought to you by the herb of the week, marshmallow. I am nurtured. I feel the joy of being on the earth. I nurture others with my bliss. I slow down and enjoy the sweetness of life. I overcome adversity with calmness and compassion. I let love in and welcome genuine connections. I love these affirmations and I dedicate them all to you. Thank you for your support. I am nurtured. I feel the joy of being on the earth. I nurture others with my bliss. I slow down and enjoy the sweetness of life. I overcome adversity with calmness and compassion and I let love in and welcome genuine connections in my life. And so it is. All right, here we go. Let's pull some cards for my friends on Friday. We're talking about flowers, we're talking about essences, we're having a few laughs. Yeah, I've been cracking myself up <laughs> my whole life. <laughs> but especially this week, it's not always funny to everybody else. <laughs> but I like it. So, you know, hey, you do you, girl, right? If you think it's funny, cackle your effing face off, okay? As long as it ain't at jest, as long as you're not hurting anybody else, and you think it's funny, laugh. Get yourself a laugh. All right, so we are going to pull... Um, we're going to pull Danny a card, then we're going to pull Sam a card, and then we're going to pull Kathy a card. Um, thank you, girls, for hanging out. Um, and then anyone else who wants a card today, we are getting each a message from this awesome, awesome deck. Hi, Mary. Um, called Power of Flowers. It's kind of an older deck, maybe like 20... Oh, so it says 2014. I, But it seems classic right it seems like the artwork maybe is something no copyright 1999 so yeah we're getting a little older <laughs> welcome tell me how your week was and what you're looking forward to this weekend all right Danny on your way to class you are so committed you're doing so good I feel like um, spirit just wanted me to say that to you so this is for Danny Please get Danny the perfect flower remedy today with the perfect archetype to guide her into a really fun weekend. And uh, yeah, rock that class. Okay, girl, you got fig. Feeling myself, fig. You got Isis. Um, perfect for you. Perfect. Uh, this lady, she also be feeling herself. Right, she is loving who she is. She's peaceful, she's content. She's sitting, ooh, she's kind of, it almost seems like an archway. So when you get an arc or archway in any of your readings, it really is like a this thing that signifies like you are moving into something new, some new energy. Maybe, maybe your outward, life isn't going to change too much but there's something that you are walking through at this point some new energy that you are going to be changing into um lots of egyptian symbology in this card the sphinx the pyramids the eye the 
eagle. Oh, there's a goddess symbol there. I love her so much, the onk. Um, and then of course the fig. Funny, last night at ladies night, my, fr my mama friend, uh, Sherry Burkett was bitching about figs. So this is hilarious that you got this card. <laughs> because instantly I'm remembering about all the laughs that I gave myself last night. And every once in a while, someone laughed with me, but I don't allow myself to hold back my laughter just cause I'm the only one. <laughs> so let's talk about, let's talk about her for Danny. Um, this is Isis. Um, she kinda, she's got that I don't know what that's called that she wears on the top of her head, but isn't it so fun? Like, I feel like we should all have one. I've seen like a dance, belly dancing video, and the ladies were wearing these Isis crowns, and it was so good. <laughs> oh, Mary says you have such a great laugh. <laughs> well, I let it out too. Um, and it does lighten the mood, you know, because even last night when I went to ladies' night, I could tell that as soon as I got there, the energy shifted. and. And yeah, sometimes laughter is what really needs to cut through um, any type of energy that's too serious or, or um, yeah, people get into the habit of bitching. They really do. And I, I just feel like if you can laugh when you're doing it, it makes it so much better. <laughs> so yeah, this is Isis and um, that's the archetype that came through to guide Danny today, Isis held many precious secrets of alchemical magic. Out of this mysterious vessel, she birthed the sun and the moon, as well as all aspects of life, heaven and earth, male and female. Um, so she also wants to bring in the, the message as above, so below. So make sure that like, you know, as within, so without, like make sure like your inner world in is reflecting outward into your outer world. If there's something in your outer world, check yourself, Danny, and see what's going on within you. So these, all of these can be taken as a flower essence. Um, and the flower essence says, when opened, see the fig at the top, and the fig is like, such a divine feminine fruit for obvious reasons. Um, the fig has been said to resemble the human brain, although that's not the first thing I saw, providing an important clue as to the healing properties of its essence. So this is great for Danny who's going into class, having to use her noggin. This essence is capable of restoring and enhancing memory and thus is an excellent remedy when doing past life or early childhood regression work or why not just to like help you survive college <laughs> because the male and female flowers share the same receptacle within the fig or getting nerdy na 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 this essence also balances one's masculine and feminine elements bringing the right and left hemispheres of the brain into a state of equilibrium while helping the individual to achieve greater clarity and ultimately gain access to higher aspects of mind. So that is really cool. Oh my gosh, Mary, have a beautiful Friday. Um, have a great weekend. Thank you for hanging out and um, blessings to you. So yeah, I would say for Danny, um, yeah, we wanna really be balanced. We wanna have both parts of our brains balanced. If we're like doing too much thinking, we wanna make sure that we're nourishing the dreaming part, right? The subconscious part, like if you wanted to do some past life work, if you wanted to go deep into your childhood to go do some healing work there, this would be a great flower essence to do that with the fig. I think it's just also great for memory. So your ancient memory, your genetic memory, and how about just whatever bullshit you have to memorize this week. <laughs> so the fig is a rare plant containing tiny seeds and flowers within its receptacle. And just as Isis is a rare goddess, 
associated with a sacred vessel um, containing all those alchemical secrets. Um, when Isis comes to you today, Danny, she opens the channels of your higher mind, decoding the memory of your deepest origins. And the luscious fig overhead, you can see it is sliced open, revealing the inner fruits and nectars that are stored within your soul. So yeah, this might be a great weekend to just rest, go within, go deep, um, however you'd like to do that, meditation, smoking, like do something that like brings you deep within yourself. And give fig, the essence of fig, give it permission to help you remember. So that is your card, Danny, and I'm gonna read you the blessing now. You carry seeds of feminine delight. Sacred fig, you carry seeds of feminine delight. Fiery flowers of masculine light. Alchemical vessel within my soul. Reveal your secrets. Make me whole. So yeah, really go within and, and integrate all aspects of you. This divine masculine, this divine feminine energy. It's not about like, you know, being like androgynous or anything. This is within every single human being, the need to balance and integrate. If we're too feminine, we're too emotional, we can't make decisions, um, we're just like, ugh. if we're too masculine, we're a bunch of assholes. It's like we need to get, like Marshmallow wanted us this week, we need to get more nurturing, more more um, soft, more caring, more feminine. We really usually genuinely need more divine feminine than we need the divine masculine. But some people really need, if they are just crying over everything, they're taking other people's emotions as their own, they need that divine masculine energy too to come in and lift them up and help them. Um, be more secure. So anyways, Fig is saying, if there's any imbalance with you, ask your guides for help, go within and allow this healing to take place. Danny says, I have such a long day ahead. I hope Isis and the energy of the Fig helps me out. Oh my gosh, yes. And like, you know, don't underestimate the power of the dried fruit snack. You know, especially on these long days where you just need a little fruit sugar. <laughs> You just need a little fruit sugar um, to get you through. But yeah, she is, um, you know, sometimes when you do have those long days, look at her, she's not in a hurry. Slow and steady wins the race, giving you that sustenance to keep on going. Oh, so anyways, that was so great to pull cards for Danny. Mary had to leave, um, but she says, keep up the good work, beautiful souls. That is lovely. Next, we have Sam, and then we have Kathy. And um, yeah, if I haven't jibber-jabbed long enough, maybe Sadie gets a card today. <laughs> maybe Sadie gets a card. I don't know. We'll see. Um, anyways, thank you, Fig. Thank you, Isis. Dang, way to kick off Friday. Let's see what other archetypes are coming through today. This one is for Sam. So I give this deck permission to bring in the perfect archetype for Sam and the most valuable flower essence remedy that could impart a beautiful blessing on her already freaking perfect weekend forecast. Oh my gosh. All right, so there it is. Yours kind of like chopped itself out. Yeah beautiful a beautiful man a freaking beautiful location and yarn i mean it's like kind of um, it's trying me like i could get jealous here <laughs> no i'm just kidding i am so happy for anyone who's experienced happiness i'm actually not far behind you on that happiness radar i've been feeling good i have been feeling good this week i'm definitely feeling the love vibes there's there's someone special in my life and um, I have yarn. <laughs> I'm just not traveling. <laughs> I'm going to travel to some offices and dust them and vacuum and mop. Um, but 
Let's see. I want to make you something. We will chat later. Are you for real? That would be so wonderful. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I follow your your page on um, Facebook and you are very talented. Very, very, very talented. So let's see who you got, Sam. What? <laughs> you got bleeding heart. <laughs> This guy is not having the good weekend that you are having. Why would you get this? <laughs> Why would you get this? Is there any type of emotional healing you or the two of you are doing together? I mean, because, hey, we are all healing. We are all healing, whether we realize it or not. Um, even if the relationship is perfect. Oh, and especially, this is coming through now, especially if the relationship is perfect. What a beautiful opportunity to be provided that safe space to really feel secure. And if there's anything from the childhood or past hurt, right? Someone before him like killed you. <laughs> what a beautiful opportunity now to heal. So I can't shake that quote, that Mimi quote that I saw on Facebook, it said, we get hurt in relationships and then we heal in relationships. So really take, really take um, your beautiful situation now um, to just allow your heart, even if you're kind of unaware of it almost, just allowing yourself to feel joy and love and secure and connection is so good for repairing any even tiny minuscule wounds that could be there. Yeah, lots of healing and learning can happen on a long trip. And we were talking about that last night too at Ladies Night. Um, the one was saying like, hey, glad you're in love, Sadie, but you really don't know somebody until you've seen them in like a situation that really challenges them or you've been stuck in traffic or they've had the flu or something like, you know, out of the ordinary happens. And she shared a story that when she was dating her husband at first, he had this amazing car and she was driving it and she pulled up too far on the curb and the whole front end like fell off of this brand new hot ass vehicle. <laughs> and she was like, oh my God, he's going to kill me. He's going to freak out. And he acted, he reacted in such a compassionate, loving, like, hey, babe, this is why we love people and not stuff. That she was just like, this is the man for me, right? Now, he could have acted like a total dick in that moment. And that would have shown his true colors, right? So, yeah, a long trip, um, traffic, impromptu, like, interactions with people, situations, maybe a little traveling stress. Yeah, you really can um, get to know somebody. And also being, con like if it is a long driving trip, like you're both in that vehicle for a long time, it's a great time to talk and connect and yeah, be forced to maybe like go a little deeper than the general jibber jabber. All right, speaking of jibber jabber, hi, my name's Sadie Marie Cherico. <laughs> All right, Bleeding Heart. Let's see what page this is on. We're going to page 32 in this cute little guidebook. I mean, sometimes these tiny little guidebooks are just incredible. And uh, it's about two hours one way. Wow. So that's plenty of jam time, talk time. I just love being with you time. Um, yeah. And good time to get to know each other deeper. But I think you guys are past testing the waters out. Um, you know, hopefully he's not going to throw any curveballs. <laughs> oh my gosh. So bleeding heart. Let's look at him. He looks sad. He's holding some flowers. He's got the healing symbol from Archangel Raphael along that tree bleeding heart flowers are so cool <laughs> and sam's going yeah and crochet time i love that you can do that because when i travel if i'm looking down at a project i'll get car sick and i'm not like good enough 
to probably to stitch and knit and hook without looking. <laughs> so if you can do that, girl, this trip just gets better and better. <laughs> So yeah, the this is a cool flower. They're heart shaped. They're like boop 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 down, down the line. They hang in delicate clusters. It's such a sweet flower. It's it's like a love offering in itself from the goddess. And then as it as it matures, the little nerdy nerdiness of this plant, as it matures, it busts itself open. <laughs> Right, as the flower matures, it breaks open and the bottom point of each heart turns a bit upward, reminding us that a broken heart is an open heart and love never fails. Love never fails. Spoiler alert, who's gonna win? Love. So anyways, this flower essence, if anyone is drawn to it, Bleeding heart essence purifies and strengthens the heart chakra, as well as all emotions concerning love. To those who, have, who may have closed their hearts due to fear, abandonment, or loss, bleeding heart offers and brings an open-hearted attitude, soothing the emotions and offering its unconditional love to heal the wounds in us all. And you know what's so sweet? Like, it doesn't really matter how long you and your lover have been together. You guys can always grow deeper. You can always get closer. You can always become stronger. Um, as, you, as you grow and change, you can grow and change together. Um, as you discover new things about yourself, you can share it with them. Like, there's no limit to the open-heartedness of your connection with each other. So yeah, what a sweet investment you guys have going on. Um, and yeah, always keep it open. Don't let that past shit close you down. Like stay open, keep communication so flowing. Even the little things, if it just kind of came up and you kind of noticed it, like be like, you know, I just wanna let you know, like I got triggered and I, I know it's old shit and it has nothing to do with you and I'm just projecting, but like, I just could like use a hug right now and be reminded of who I wanna be. And it's like, you guys are the best of friends and you love each other so much. Hold on, you guys, I just am loving them right now. <laughs> As you're riding along and just loving each other and crocheting and being together. It's like the simple little things that just bond you and connect you again and again and again. And then Sam is saying, I honestly feel this is more past wound inner child connection. All right, so that's what that's what it's saying. That is what it's saying too. If you have residual bullshit that has manifested now from your childhood, but what you bring it with you, and now it's a fear. It could be resentment. Um, it's that that like little thing in the back of your mind that you're going to be abandoned. Or just that you're sad that like, you know, your childhood got screwed up, <laughs> right? So bleeding heart is good for all those things. I would even suggest bleeding heart for two couples who want to like connect more. But yeah, this is a great essence and especially if you're feeling past wounds and inner child connection. So this is Chiron or Chiron, horse dude. And um, Horse Dude was the product of an unloving union between Philira, Philira and Cronus, which was Saturn. So basically, um, yeah, like I think like Saturn basically just forced himself and this, this, uh, this creature happened, the legs of a horse, torso, arms of a man. Anyways, he was abandoned as a child they didn't want him. And later he was found by Apollo, the sun god. And Apollo became his foster father and taught him the ways of the healer, the artist, and the scholar. So that's why the, there is a paint, a paint palette, the healing cadaverous or whatever that thing is, and uh, something else to represent the scholar. I don't know, I can't see it. Um, so anyways, his pain 
that he had in his heart space was transfer trans formed into service trans service transformed into service and compassion so whatever you went through he's saying everything can be transformed everything can be changed everything can be healed what hurt you at one point will eventually be the fuel that motivates you to serve humanity and look at humanity with compassion so forgive everyone for everything <laughs> like look whack 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 slap 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 forgive everyone for everything and allow this energy to come into you so behind him do you see them them you see them raise a lot <laughs> cosmic rays of loving radiance pour through bleeding heart blossoms directly into your heart so yeah in this way a therapeutic channels um, they're opened and really they can carry the suffering that you have experienced um, they can carry that suffering right out of you and everything can be healed so just say that to yourself everyone everything can be healed so whether or not we're experiencing things in our heart that need healed our body our mind everything can be healed the bleeding heart flowers bless and honor you today sam for your heart has been granted a new birth of consciousness which carries the seed of an emerging cosmology of health and well-being so I'll read you the blessing. Bleeding heart, expand my soul that I may truly see how the journey into my suffering is the path that sets me free. Oh, see that to me says don't be afraid of your inner child. Don't be afraid of the past wounds that journey that little road trip into that aspect of you will be the path that sets you free so i don't know how painful it is i don't know but we've all got our stories from our childhood and um yeah you guys we need to go in there eventually better sooner than later and heal it up tgif yeah heal it up that will be the journey when we go into our suffering, it always sets us free. It always does. But you can't be running away from it. And um, you don't really want to hesitate much longer from doing your healing work. All right, Kathy's turn. <laughs> All right, this is for Kathy. All right, so let's bring in Kathy, the perfect flower essence with the perfect archetype to lead her into a great weekend. Um, how's the dog? <laughs> oh gosh, I'm so, I'm, I, I maybe laugh at inappropriate times, but um, that's because I am genuinely joyful. I really am. And I just want everyone to make light of the situations in their life and um, feel good and feel better and all of that. Okay, so let me see here. Let me shuffle this again. Thinking about Kathy. <laughs> Not the dog, I'm thinking about Kathy, but the dog's a big part of you. I mean, I was just saying last night at ladies night how I feel like I have seven children at home because all the dogs are full of personality and um, yeah, yeah, they're part of the family for sure. Girl, you got California Poppy. How's your dreams lately? You sleeping good? Um, Danny says, I'm arriving to class now. Thank you, Sadie, for another beautiful morning company. Blessed be everyone and happy weekend. Thank you, Danny. Thank you. Thank you for getting us in there. You are a perfect, great multitasker. You can get it done. Go rock the day, girl. All right, so Kathy is getting fairies. She's getting some fairies and flowers and fun on this TGIF. Yeah, hanging out with my friends here on Instagram Live. I'm so glad it worked this week. I don't know what the heck was happening last week with um, Instagram. I was forced to go live on Facebook. And my bestie, Osiel the Oracle, just swung in here. Welcome. I'm so glad. Um, 
I was just talking about you 20 minutes ago. Um, so you can't hear? Check your um, vibrate. Well, if you can't hear, how's he going to hear me say that? So Kathy says, very strange dreams. Any good messages? Okay, so California poppy is a great um, flower essence or tincture to take for sleeping, for relaxing, for tapping into your dreams. So I'm interested to see what this has to say for you, Kathy. Very strange dreams. Do you feel like they have any meaning whatsoever? Do you feel like and they have meaning or are they just so random and weird? All right, so let's see here. Um, California poppy, California. Dun, 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 dun. On page 50. All right, yeah, so it seems like there might be a little technical difficulties for my bestie, Osiel the Oracle. <laughs> of course. I think everybody else can hear me, though. Either that or they've been really good faking of the funkers this whole damn time. <laughs> okay, so Kathy says, no, like these have been completely crazy dreams. That is, are you keeping a dream journal? It might be interesting to see if like they develop a storyline or like anything or you just, the astral realm just seems crazy right now. So I grew this plant last year. Um, it's so cute. It's really delicate. Um, it's surprising. Good. I'm glad you can hear me now. <laughs> I knew you'd figure it out. I was like, um, if I've, if everyone's just been pretending to hear me this whole time, you guys are the best of friends. Thank you. <laughs> I love you too. I'm so glad you're here. So at some point, Instagram will kick us off, but I think I'll have time to pull my best friend, Osiel the Oracle, um, a card. This one is for Kathy Kesterholt. Um, this is the flower fairies coming through for you. So yeah, I would say embrace your crazy ass dreams as fun. Like how weird can it get? Like this is amazing. Um, like Alice in Wonderland vibes. And Kathy's saying I grow double tangerine poppies. Oh my goodness. Maybe I'll get a start from you or some seeds or because I would love more poppies in my life. Um, I love this card, Kathy. There is a mushroom circle around the, the deva and the flower fairies. Um, they, they're just all around her. And the, the deva herself is very calm. Um, California poppy is a great calming um, but gentle essence. Thank you. Osiel says, ooh, I love your sweater. I know, I like big buttons and I cannot lie. <laughs> TGIF fun. So yeah, have a look at her in the California poppy. Um, it's a perennial plant. So I'm assuming, Kathy, your poppies self-sow and come back each year. They're very giving. Now this flower essence is, it says the flower remedy derived from the California poppy carries within it the radiant heights of summer and the majesty of sunlight and I don't know about you but I am getting very very hungry for sunlight and warmth and vitamin D and a little color on my skin drawing the awakened sun force upward through the human heart it sparks a luscious cup of gold within the soul so when you take this flower essence the magic elixir also expands one's visions to include the antics of the fairy people, helping human beings to unite with these kindred spirits of the Davic realm. So Kathy, maybe these crazy dreams that you're having, you know, the fairies do like to have fun, don't they, Osiel? And I, they could, you know, really be seeing how much crazy you can handle in your dream state you know, before they pop up through your double blossomed <laughs> orange poppies. So yeah, let's talk about um, the fairies, the global myths, the folklore, the fairy tales. They really do ignite our imagination and they spark within us. 
And yeah, this energy could be coming out in your dream state because you don't give yourself permission to be crazy in real life like the rest of us. <laughs> They're like, well, when she's sleeping, we'll get in there. Yeah, super playful and almost mischievous, Asiel reminds us. So yeah, this could be fairies, this could be gnomes, this could be devas or brownies or angels or elves. But definitely some of the like, these magical beings, um, they are an expression of your creative will. So I would say if I was having crazy dreams, I'm like, wow, I really do have a creative mind and I am, I am capable of such amazing potential. I mean, my God, look at what I dreamed of last night. So yeah, nature is very creative. And as such, they direct, build, weave, and sustain all the life forces. So solar, planetary, universal, these devas are the shining ones, self-luminous beings of iridescent light, color, and energy. So you do have a healing coming at you today, Kathy. I hope you are feeling well. I know that on any day of the week, you can use healing energy. So I often take time to think of you and send it your way. And so do the fairies. The fairy world in its supreme purity has come to greet you today. And my dog just barked. So the dog energy is also with you today, Kathy. Perhaps you are being rewarded for having opened your heart. I like that. Opened your heart to the wonders of the natural world. The little people wish to pay their respects and welcome you into their magical world. So rejoice. And I know they're thankful for the flowers that you allow to grow. This is indeed an honor. The golden poppy fairy overlights you, offering you the treasure of warm and nurturing sunlight within. So yeah, Kathy, as we're like, eh, we live in Pennsylvania, eh, we miss the sun. The fairies are saying, don't forget about your inner sun. Don't forget about the light that you can shine within. So Instagram is just reminding me that I have a minute and 30 seconds left. So this will be the final blessing for the podcast. And um, Kathy, I'll read it to you now. The blessing goes, Oh, fairy queen, your magical world dances in my sunlit soul. California poppy of vibrant rays, teach me the fairy ways. So... Uh, this is definitely an invitation to the fairy realm. Osiel the Oracle, everyone, please check him out. Says, use Citrine, Kathy, if you have that stone. If not, Raven's Moon Oracle and Dubois for sure has it. Um, but yeah, fairies are, are honoring you, inviting you, and asking you um, for more interaction. And that is playful and fun and invite them into your dream space absolutely so you guys 34 seconds are going to kick me the hell out of here thank you so much for hanging out moni moon join me next friday i'll be here again we'll pull more cards we'll hang out we're going to talk about all the good f's friends flowers fun feeling myself <laughs> and kathy does have citrine so you guys have a beautiful weekend and i'll see you soon. All right, so that was our live stream. <laughs> okay, so I really only have time for like three good readings. Oh my gosh. Um, but that was perfect. And I love that purple poppy came through at the beginning and then we ended with California poppy. Uh, that was cool. So we have lots of poppy energy, lots of self-love energy, evolution into this new divine feminine, um, opening our heart space with the bleeding heart, um, inviting more magic into our lives. Um, and yeah, just really enjoying enjoying like spell it wrong i-n-j-o-y-i-n-g 
enjoying the light within, the love within, the joy within. Woo, so see how quick an hour goes by when you're live streaming? That was so fun. I just wanna thank you one more time for hanging out with me all week and with Marshmallow and with all the beautiful herbs and trees that found us and, and loved us and guided us. It really was fun for me. I do love this and I truly appreciate you um, and your support and your, just your interaction and just giving me a platform to run at the effing mouth. It's so good for me, I love it. So have a beautiful weekend. We'll be back here next week on Monday with a new herb of the week. It's going to be dun, 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 dill. And next week we are going to manifest more aspiration. Whatever the hell that's about. I can't wait. So anyways, on that note, have so much fun and so, 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 so much love to you.